Well, I'm Sue Castile. I'm an environmental health scientist with ATSDR. Uh, ATSDR stands for the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. We're actually part of CDC based in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, people should be concerned about elemental mercury because most people just don't realize how dangerous it can be and what serious health effects it can have if you're exposed to it. The more mercury vapor you're exposed to, the more likely you are to have a health effect. And we don't have one specific number where we start seeing health effects. Different people are more susceptible to mercury toxicity or the health effects associated with mercury exposure than other people. And the health effects are more likely to become more serious the more mercury vapor you're exposed to, the higher concentration of mercury vapor you're exposed to in air. And I think one thing that is important to remember is that mercury, elemental mercury, is toxic primarily through inhalation exposure. When people breathe in uh, mercury vapors, we start seeing different health effects at different levels. There are basically two, two different types of exposure that we see with mercury. One is an acute short-term exposure, and the health effects that we see in acute short-term exposures, if you're exposed to a high enough level, um, are headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, you may have trouble breathing, you may have chest pains, uh, you may have uh, inflammation of your mouth and your respiratory tract. But these are all reversible health effects unless you're exposed to very, very high levels when you're removed from the source of exposure and the mercury can leave your body. As you know, a lot of us have dental amalgams that contain mercury and the amalgams can be as much as 50% mercury. And research indicates that anywhere from four to 19 micrograms of mercury per day uh, can leach out of your amalgams into your body. If you're exposed to mercury chronically for a long period of time, then we start seeing much more serious health effects. Uh, these health effects would be damage to the central nervous system, fatigue, irritability, being very emotional, memory loss, shyness, blushing, tingling or tremors in your hands, tingling and shooting pains in your feet, anorexia. You may have gingivitis, you may have some serious respiratory problems. Uh, there are just a lot of really serious health problems associated with chronic exposure. The symptoms of mercury poisoning can be caused by so many other things that a lot of times, unless you know there's been a mercury spill in a house or people have been occupationally exposed to mercury, that may not be what doctors are looking for when they're trying to diagnose a person's problems. So it is very challenging. And then the other challenge is that some people can have symptoms of mercury poisoning at much lower exposures than other people. It, there's just a very wide variability among people about how they will respond and what kind of symptoms they will have at what different levels. In some cases, um, if you're exposed to two chemicals at the same time, you may see synergistic or additive effects. So the health effects of the two separately, um, when they're combined, are greater than you would expect to see. And again, there are a lot of variables here. So what we have to do is look at the route of exposure to the two different chemicals. We have to look at how long people were exposed and the concentrations of chemicals they were exposed to to determine whether or not there's a synergistic or additive effect. When a, when a woman is pregnant, we hope that she's never exposed to mercury vapors. And it's a concern for us because we know that it can pass the placenta and get into the unborn baby. And there it could cause neurological problems in the unborn baby. So we recommend that pregnant women avoid being around products that contain elemental mercury and especially avoid areas if there's been a spill or anything because it can harm their baby. It can cause neurological problems in the unborn baby.